Hi, I'm Joshua, and this is Doll History, Episode 1, Boudoir Dolls. Popular in the 1920s, these dolls were not for good girls. These jazz babies wore rouge, showed skin, and smoked cigarettes. At least, I think they're cigarettes. The craze started in Paris with Paul Poiret, king of fashion, not only a brilliant designer, but a master showman. In 1910, he sent models holding long-limbed dolls wearing matching outfits down the runway. The boudoir doll soon became the symbol of the new liberated woman, trading her Victorian corset for a loose, revealing dress and bobbed hair. Boudoir dolls have heads made of paper mache or composition and stuffed fabric bodies that are lightweight and soft meant to decorate a bed or an armchair in a lady's boudoir. The boudoir doll really took off in America when silent film stars began commissioning portrait dolls, posing with their dolls in publicity shots, and even appearing with dolls in movies. A must-have item for every flapper, vamp, and hit girl. <laughs>